Okay, today's question is uh, number 88, merge sorted arrays. Uh, we've been given two sorted integer arrays, nums1 and nums2. We need to merge the second one into the first one, and the result also needs to be a sorted array. Uh, there are a couple of notes here. The, the number of elements in, initialized in nums1 and nums2 are m and n, respectively. So uh, we know the so we, we essentially have four inputs, the two arrays and two integers telling us how many actual elements are there in nums1 and nums2. The second note here is that uh, nums1 have, should have enough space. Uh, it's uh, greater than or equal to, so we might have some extra here to hold additional elements from nums2. The example we have here, nums1 is 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0. With m equal to 3, we know the first three uh, thing numbers are actual um, integer numbers that we care about. This other three are just um, paddings. It could be any other integer values here. Uh, as long as m equal to 3, these three are just um, placeholders. It could also be 4 or 5 um, numbers after the 1 to 3. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mm, but now our code should should not treat it um, like uh, it's always the case. We got three zeros here and it's exactly the same number of elements um, uh, as the three extra space as uh, the nums. Uh, the, the n number from nums2. So our code shouldn't really rely on things like that. Uh, nums2 is uh, another array with 256 here. Uh, n is equal to 3, so there's no junk here right, in nums2. So the most straightforward way of solving it is just to move this 256 over here to replace this 30 and sort nums1 in place. Uh, if, we, if we let k equal to m plus m be the uh, actual number of elements uh, in total in the in the final result, then the sorting to sort sort the nums one in place would be uh, you know uh, k log k, which is uh, log linear, and uh, that that would be slow because uh, that that's uh, not using this kind of uh, this property be given to us. The two arrays are sorted in the beginning. So uh, to utilize this um, uh, property, we will have like uh, two pointers pointing at uh, the largest uh, elements from the current largest uh, uh, elements uh, in these two arrays. I just place that, uh, copy that element over to the rightful location in nums1. Um, and we can actually just modify the value and decrement the pointer uh, without actually, um, you know, doing this physical copy of uh, elements over there. Uh, uh, replace, I should say, replace or deletion. Um, so we just modify the values and the decrement the pointers. Uh, that that would be linear time. And uh, to do that, to do that, we need to figure out uh, the uh, relationship between these two these pointers. So we have nums1 here and nums2. Um, and uh, we start with the larger, l largest elements that we care about, uh, which is uh, at the location 2, which is equal to n minus 1 in the beginning. And uh, for the second array, it's the same story. Uh, the, the current uh, biggest elements from nums2 we haven't worked with yet is the last one uh, which is um, at the index 2 equal to n minus 1 and the location we want to place the place the bigger one into is this location here uh, which is uh, a location 5 uh, that's um, m plus m minus 1 so let's say that we uh, figure out the 6 is a bigger one we call uh, we modify the 0 to be 6 and decrement this uh, pointer here uh, it will be pointing at uh, 1 uh, so in order to make a make a uh, you know n minus 1 to be uh, 1 we decrement n here now let's note that n minus minus and uh, the next target location will become 4. Uh, if we decrement n, um, it will be n will be 2. 2, 2 plus 3 minus 1 will still be 4. So the, uh, we, we, we could ju this is just telling us we could use m and, m and n as the uh, location pointers. 
and just keep keep decrementing whichever that one that we picked. Uh, that will be in our relationship. Um, I guess uh, uh, a special case uh, we need to care about is um, what if um, one of the arrays we have already moved everything from it. Uh, what what we do to the remaining uh, numbers, uh, right? So let's say that um, um, what if, if we have four here, uh, the we, we will be like a four, five, six, and uh, um, this will be negative one here, and will become zero and will become zero um, then that case it's already sorted so in the, this case is easy we don't actually need to deal with uh, any anything uh, but if it's the other way around we have uh, uh, four five six uh, here in nums one and we have one two three from nums two then um, what we will end up having is uh, uh, to replace this three zero with um, four five six, and the first pointer is already become minus one. Um, so, so that case, um, so in th this case, the first pointer exhausted uh, before the second one exhausted. Uh, that in this case, we will we'll have to uh, copy everything from every every remainder things from nums two into nums one. Uh, so that that's the uh, special case we need to handle. So with that, let's code code up the problem. Move myself over. So the criteria is that uh, we're not exhausting any of this um, to list the uh, array yet. Um, if the elements from the first one is smaller, uh, the target location is n plus n minus one. We'll, put, we'll always copy the bigger ones over and decrement that pointer. Um, otherwise, otherwise uh, it's the element from the first uh, array got copied over there. So we decrement the first pointer. Uh, in the end, if the if it's the uh, you know the second array decrement to the pointer decrement to zero. Uh, you know exhausted all the elements from this one uh, because it's all larger and everything is copied over here. Um, then we are fine. But if the um, if it's m reaches uh, zero first faster than n, meaning that uh, there are some smaller elements from the second array we need to copy over into the first one. So if, if n still has stuff in there, um, we will just copy everything, every, every remaining things from nums2 into the first one. So with, with that, uh, it should be um, guaranteed that we can have this um, result to be correct. So let's submit this, and uh, yep. Yeah, well, we uh, we have an error here. So what is the? Oh yeah, uh, we have to modify this, right? The, yeah, there's something wrong with the error. Huh. Okay, this time it works. Okay.